is not letting me end it. It's not letting me stop the app. This game is haunted, bro. I was looking on the app store and I found a software that is suspiciously similar to something we've tried in the past. This is Pionkey. P Pionkey, I don't know. But as a certified expert in Scratch, it is my job to find out, is this questionable looking software any good? So to really test the limits of this app, I'm going to give myself one hour to make a game with it. In three, two, one. Oh, it just jumps right into the software. Okay. This is what I'm looking at, by the way, guys. I'm using an iPad for this. That's how you know it's great and not a crappy ripoff. This is our scratch cat. It's a uh, bunny, I think. I don't even know. Bunny plus monkey plus elephant. That seems like the most accurate description. Let's see what we have to work with here. Motion, looks, sound. Not familiar at all. We've never seen anything like this before. I have a very original game idea. You play as an elephant bunky. Just by, by coincidence, I just thought of that. Like, and it actually works out because we can use the same sprite. Just a weird coincidence. And... Are there any built-in sprites? Ooh, okay, okay. By sheer coincidence again, you dodge oncoming scuba divers. It would make sense if you're playing as an elephant bunky for like there to be divers. Absolute sheer genius work by me, I know, I know. First, we need to make the player move. The biggest question is, since this is a mobile app, how do we check for input? It assumes you have a keyboard. You can use the on-screen keyboard. This is disgusting. I think we should make a control scheme that works actually on mobile and not use this stupid keyboard. Let's say you tap above and below to move. So, when the game starts forever, this entire line of code, less than half of it fits in the window that we're given to code in. It's okay. I'm a scratch professional. This is nothing out of my comfort zone. I just dragged it on the left side of the screen and it deleted it. Oh my God. Okay, let's see, what did we do? We did if. Please don't delete the code. Okay. This is scary. Okay. Okay, we did it. Now, when I tap above our player here, when you press below the player, yes. let's freaking go. Amazing game so far. And you have to dodge the divers. That's next. Our diver is a very simple sprite. What you want to do is when the diver moves off of the left side of the screen, it respawns again on the right side of the screen. You can dodge the diver, but it's not very difficult because the diver stays in the same spot at all times. So what I'll do, I'll set the diver's Y position to a random number. Oh, perfect, okay. Luckily, it's actually pretty easy to find things because it's literally just the exact same layout of Scratch. Is this random? It looks terrible. Wait, what? Yeah, I think I think it's working. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's working, I think it's working. But the issue now is when the diver touches you, nothing happens. You're literally invincible. So, if touching sprite one, you reset now. When you touch the diver, the game starts over, but because we're not keeping track of progress, it doesn't even feel like the game starts over. We need to make a high score. I have no doubt in my mind at this point that this is a complete copy of Scratch because that is how you display text. That's exactly how Scratch does it too. You know, maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe they just happen to have that same idea. All right, let's see. Okay, the score increases correctly. So far, so good. And then when you die, Let's go. I'm a pie on key master, bro. I've been using this for years. I think with the rest of our time, we should give this game a bit of a makeover. Oh yeah. We can edit the costumes. This is beautiful. I'm a professional artist. This is the perfect combination for me. All right. I just want to make it look a little bit better. I think, I feel like it's kind of pretty. I mean, I, I, I just like, it's just, let's fix up this diver. Beautiful. But right now, they are swimming in a white void. What should we put in the background, guys? Looks like water to me. For the record, I cannot make strokes. So what I have to do instead, tap my screen like a psychopath, bro. 
to make some sea items on the ground, you know? Everyone knows there's random pink circles on the floor of the ocean, which is how it goes. Pretty good looking so far. We have a game, sort of. But a Polymars game is not complete without voice acted sound effects. Scratch has a ton of sound effects, but they don't have all of them. They only have a few built in sound effects. Can you not make your own sound? Please, Pionky gods, tell me there's a way to make your own sounds. I would love to use my talent to make this a better game. Oh. Did, did you see that? Did you see that? Wait, it's not letting me click it. You see that button there? It says record. My prayers were answered. Honestly, good advice from me. Make sure to pray all the time to um this character right here. Nothing could go wrong there. All right, let's record a sound. Please, please let, let, let me, please let me record a sound. I'm not asking you to play the sound. I don't want to hear the pop sound. Just let me open this, please. Pie on key, please. Look, I'm sorry for the mean things I said about you before. Just. Please let me open this menu, please. I got this. Let me just try this focus. You probably shouldn't be messing with me, whoever made this app, because I just gave one call to Scratch Team and you're done, buddy. It's over. You want this menu to open for me next time, okay? I'm not asking you anymore, I'm telling you. Oh, you just have to press this little arrow in the top right. That's a pretty good design. Let's make a sound effect for when you get a point, this is a great idea. Be 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 Absolutely beautiful. Be I think there needs to be a bit more emotion in there. Okay. Absolutely amazing. This game is coming along really nicely, honestly, but we still have five minutes to spare. In the last five minutes, what we will do is add some difficulty. As you play the game, it should get harder and harder every time you earn a point. We'll make a variable called diver speed. Every time you increase the score, change diver speed by one. All right, this is our game. You know, this is probably the best game to be made with Pion Key. I'm sure this is the first one as well, but let's try it out. Oh God, oh, okay, no, stop, please, no, no, please. Okay, just, just cancel, this is not letting me end it. It's not letting me stop the app. This game is haunted, bro. I'm done with this app. I'm stealing this forever. I am terrified. Why don't we write a review? I think this sums up my thoughts quite nicely. I am never looking up Scratch on the App Store ever again.